America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing Benedict Arnold's scheme, Going Awry. In June 1780, General George Washington gave the command of Fortress West Point to Benedict Arnold. Arnold swiftly took steps to weaken the fort's defenses and sent word to the British that the cost for surrendering the fort would be 20,000 British pounds and a general's commission. On September 17th, Washington visited West Point and informed Arnold that he would be back in one week for a thorough inspection. Arnold arranged to meet with Major John Andre, the British spy chief, late on September 21st to turn over documents on West Point. Arnold hired two local farmers, the Cahoon brothers, to row down river and pick up Andre waiting on a British ship and bring him back to the meeting. Arnold and Andre conferred until 4 a.m., but when ordered to take Andre back, the Cahoons refused to go until they got some sleep. That would prove to be a fatal decision because a few hours later, an American shore battery fired on and drove off Andre's waiting vessel. Andre now had no alternative but to make his way back to British lines on horseback. To aid his escape, Andre changed from his British uniform into civilian clothing. Andre knew this was a dicey move because soldiers caught in civilian dress behind enemy lines were considered spies, and the standard penalty for spying was death. On September 23rd, as Andre was nearing safety, he was stopped by three American soldiers. Despite having a pass signed by Arnold, Andre was searched and the sensitive documents found. Andre knew he now had a date with the hangman. Next week, we will discuss the closing scenes of the saga of Benedict Arnold. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.